Oh man, it's complete. What's up y'all? This is Nugget Noggin. I'm getting ready to go explore some creeks today. This is gonna be a lot of fun. We're gonna see if we can find some old bottles, maybe golf balls, marbles, coins, artifacts, whatever we come across. So let's get to it. So I've been walking in this little stream, not far from the big creek, and I'm finding pieces of pottery. Native American pottery. Let me show y'all. Check that out. Got two pieces. One's a little bit darker. This one fell out the bank right here. It was laying around the side, just barely in the gravel. This one's been in the water a while. That's why it's more dark like that. And also found a chipping. So there could be some arrowheads around here. There's a bunch of broken bottles and glass shards. So that tells me there's probably a bottle dump close by. You can see the ivy. Take a look at this. Ivy right there. Doesn't grow wild around here. Not usually. So there was probably a house site years ago up there or nearby. Let's see what else we can find. Look at this. Another piece of Native American pottery. That's exactly what it is. Wow. Probably from the woodland period. So I'm still walking this creek. And I've came across a really hard packed area. All this material has been packed in pretty good. And I just found this. Started to clean it off. It might be an arrowhead. Oh man, I don't know. That one's hard to tell. It looks like a knife, like a blade. Look how sharp it is on the edge there. Maybe, or it could just be a normal rock, but I want to keep it. That's interesting. So I washed it off a little bit. It does look like a tool, Native American tool, to me anyways. It may not be, but hey, I like it, so... I'm going to keep it. So check this out. The erosion has just wiped this place clean. All that's left is the bedrock here. We might be able to spot something in the water. Actually, what is that right there? You see that? That's a piece of Native American pottery just laying there waiting for me to pick it up. So let's get it. Oh yeah, look at that, beautiful. Wow, this is awesome. Let's keep on going. Hopefully we'll find an arrowhead. Let's look in here carefully. There could be an arrowhead or a spear point. It would have washed off from the bank and just collected in this area. this site looks really good. I need to come back here for gold pan, do some test, see if there's any gold because the old stuff just can't sink any further. This is too hard to penetrate through so it just lays on top. All kinds of glass. We'll have to start looking in these dirt piles that are falling off the bank there. Lots of erosion. What is this right here? I don't know what it is. It's not pottery, though. Well, let's keep on putting along. I see a bottle up ahead. I'm just trying not to miss anything, but we'll look this on the way back. Sure enough. What do we have here? Patton, November 16th, 1915. Or 16, yeah, 19... 15. Oh, that is old. Old Coke bottle. That is crazy, y'all. I mean, this is turning into an unbelievable day. I was trying to do some more detecting, but it turns out it's going to be a creek walking adventure. Unreal. Wow. So I haven't been up here yet. I've already spotted a piece of Indian pottery. Right there. Let's see if we can go get it. I think it's Indian pottery. Definitely old pottery, yep. See some more. This might be modern though. Yeah, that's more more modern. This is 1800s to 1900s. But still, this place is loaded. 
Oh man, no way. Do you all see that? It's an old bottle. Let me put this stuff in my pouch. I'm kind of unprepared. I need a bigger uh, pouch to put my finds in. There's an old bottle right there. I'm trying to get to it. Oh, look at this one though. This one's broken, but it looks like it was really old. Like, really old. Things are getting crazy. Let's get a shot of this before I pick it up. Oh, there's thorns. Oh, wow. That is lovely. Caldwell. It's a medicine. Wow. For the early 1900s. Maybe 20s. That is beautiful. I can't believe I just eyeballed that. I missed a bottle. Do y'all remember when I found that piece of Indian pottery just a few clips back? Pottery was right there. I found the 1920s bottle over there. But look at the Coke bottle. I don't know if it's complete. It's definitely a bottle though. Oh man, it's complete. Let's see, December 25th, 1923 patent. Awesome. From the 30s. It's not a bad find. They're getting harder to find each day. Most of them are usually broke. Wow, and it's just laying like that. So it fell out the bank right there. It had to fall down. It let free from the roots. And it just went bloop. That's unreal. I guess there's a huge bottle dump somewhere up here. I don't see anything sticking out the side, but never know let's keep looking keep on looking yeah I don't see nothing but... wow very cool place <laughs> look at this creek that's better off you're looking at there and it made a hole where all the heavy stuff is going to gather gold silver arrowheads Imagine what's in that hole right there. Better get my detector out. This is the most amazing creek site I've hunted in years. Like, I keep finding stuff like every few feet. It's just crazy. You see that right there? We have a little waterfall. And right above it, if you look carefully, is a piece of Native American pottery. Kind of looks like a, a flat board. Let me go over there and get it. This is some type of hard mud, it looks like. But you see the pottery right there? This is a hard packed material. Let's see if we can get this out. Ooh, without breaking it. It's in there pretty tight. I'm gonna have to use my shovel. Oh, I think I see another piece in there, but let's uh, carefully dig this piece of pottery out. Oh yeah, look at that. Lovely, man. Ginormous piece of pottery. You can see the design on there too. Unbelievable. Wow. Definitely Native American. Awesome. And there's another piece right there. Gotta have a good eye. Good eye, folks. Oh, man. Oh, there's another piece right there. <laughs> what a treasure trove. So I'm still finding artifacts. Just found this right here. Big old flake. And we're working on something. Pretty thin. I also have another piece of pottery right there. I think it's pottery. I guess we'll see. There's so many broken pieces out here. Yep, this is exactly what it is. You can see the stenciling on it. It's like a plant or something. Wow. 
dried off some. It looks better when it's dry. There you go. I just dug up another piece right there. Let's wash it off. Man, I really need to come back in here with my sifter. I mean, there's probably a lot of stuff on the banks too, but I don't want to dig that out. If I did dig, I would dig up on top on land and just start digging a hole down because it's not good to erode the banks, even though <laughs> it's already eroded out. That's why I'm finding this stuff because it's washing in the creek. That's nice. Not quite as big as that huge piece I found, but there's got to be some arrowheads. That might be the top of it right there. Probably like a big bowl. Wow. Well, y'all, I made it in from Creek Exploring. It's been about three hours out there. These are all the finds. Check out the bottles. They cleaned up great. There's the Dr. YYB Caldwell's, Monticello, Illinois. Got two Coke bottles. A 1915 patent and a 1923. That one's the Christmas coat there. This is the 1915, I believe. Here it is, November 16th, 1915. You can see it pretty good right there. Coca-Cola. That's nice. Here's the Christmas Coke. December 25th, 1923. Got a bunch of Native American pottery. This thing here, I'm not sure if it's anything good. It could just be like a regular old rock, but it kind of looked like it was worked. Maybe like a little hatchet or an axe or just a tool. A stick could have went here. I don't know though. Maybe just a normal rock. Doesn't hurt to keep it. Check out this big piece of pottery. It's about five inches long by four inches wide. That thing is Beautiful. Off an old pot or vase. Look at the stenciling on there. I got a bunch of other smaller pieces. Had to be some type of village around there. This is cool. Not sure if it's a spear point. Probably just a normal rock, but it sure was shaped like one. And it kind of looks like it's been worked. It was a pottery day with a few bottles for the bonus. <laughs> that's awesome right there that's my favorite bottle of the day so I really hope y'all enjoyed the hunt thank y'all so much for watching please be sure to subscribe to my channel hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and I'll see y'all in the next one y'all take care and God bless